Today, I'm going to talk about how to work through an emotional trigger. You'll know you're triggered when you feel yourself emotionally activated. It's often an intense feeling that comes seemingly out of nowhere. Your muscles might tense, maybe your fists clench, your jaw clenches, your heart rate might start beating really fast, and you find yourself overwhelmed with emotion. When you're triggered, you're actually experiencing a past wound in the present moment. So here's a common example that some of you might even be experiencing right now. You go home and your mom makes a comment about how you look. You feel anger surging through your body. You end up screaming and yelling something you don't mean. And then afterward, you feel really shameful and you numb out by scrolling on social media. While we cannot avoid what activates us, we can learn how to work through our triggers, how to understand them and how to break that habitual reaction so that we can show up more consciously and responsibly. Here's what a typical unconscious trigger cycle looks like. You have your trigger, your mom's comment. You have your emotional reaction, all of that anger surging through your body, and then the screaming and yelling that you end up doing. Then you have your unhealthy coping mechanism or your habit, that period of shame and numbing out on social media. What we want to begin to do is to create a new cycle that can look like this. There's a conscious trigger cycle. The trigger happens. We can't control what mom's saying or doing. She makes that same comment. In this instance, we pause instead of habitually reacting. We maybe take a few deep breaths. If we notice ourselves beginning to activate, we might say, okay, you're having a trigger and let yourself feel whatever it is that comes up. Here, you're just gonna breathe. Let all of that energy race through your body. And instead of typically having that habitual reaction, lashing out or shutting down, you're going to rewire your response, calming your body's nervous system by pausing and breathing. After that pause, you're going to be able to consciously respond or make a new choice. Instead of going into autopilot, you're going to choose how you respond to that trigger. So let's go back to your mom making that comment about how you look. Instead of becoming dysregulated and saying something hurtful that you don't mean or saying something sarcastic, you're going to make a conscious choice to keep your body regulated. And then maybe you'll change the subject or ignore the comment and not engage with it at all. Our triggers can actually help increase our self-awareness. So after you've experienced one, instead of shaming or judging yourself, take a moment to explore why you got so activated, became so dysregulated or so upset. Did you feel unseen, not considered, maybe not good enough? What did you believe to be true in that moment? Take some time to explore this, thinking about it or journaling about it. And if you've tuned into this, you're ahead of most people because a majority of people don't understand their triggers at all. And it's by understanding what causes us to become emotionally dysregulated, often saying or doing hurtful things or pushing others away, that we can become better partners, better friends. And by understanding what causes us to be dysregulated emotionally, often saying or doing hurtful things or maybe pushing others away, we can become better friends, better partners. I hope this video is helpful. Leave a comment and let me know if you're working on your own triggers.